Okay, magandang araw muli mga grade 10. So, nandito na tayo sa learning task number 2 para sa inyong week 6. Uh, dividing polynomials, yung gamit natin yung long division at saka synthetic. Ano? So, ang sabi dito, i-divide daw natin using the two methods. So, binigyan tayo ng 5. Ano? So, itong A muna ang sagutan natin. Yung B ay ihiwalay natin ng video. Kasi baka uh, talaga ito yung medyo mahaba na ano. So, lima. Okay. So, isinulat na yun eh, sir. Para mas madali ang ating pacing. Okay. So, ito. Simulan na agad natin. So, given. Analyze muna natin ano. Huwag dali ng dali. X squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. So, siya naman yung nakarange na. So, ito ay 2. The imaginary 1 and then 2 is 0. So, isulat na lang natin. Ano? So, naka-arrange naman na siya. Eh. So, x squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by, so ito yung long method muna natin, x minus 5. So, masama talagang masulat siya sir. Pagpasensyahan nyo na. So, x squared divided by x is x. So, lagay sa taas. Distribute, multiply, x times x x squared x times negative 5 is negative 5 x okay then subtract so wala na ito cancel na so negative 7 x minus negative 5 x so negative times negative magiging positive ay may mas malaki yung negative kaya na negative 2 x so bring down 10 so plus 10 and then, divide, negative 2x, divided by x, so matatanggal yung x, may natira kong 2, negative 2, ano, so minus 2. Then, distribute, negative 2, times x, negative 2x. Negative 2, times, negative 5 is positive, tama, positive 10. Okay, then, subtract. So, wala na ito, so 10 minus 10, wala din, okay, wala tayong remainder, so 0. No? So, sakto ang ating uh, quotient. So, ito ang sagot natin. X minus 2. So, tingnan natin sa synthetic kung ganyan din ang sagot natin. Okay, lista ulit natin ang ating mga numerical uh, coefficient. So, ito ay 1. Negative 7. So, na ito yun. And then 10. Okay. So, yung test 0 natin. Yung test 0, change lang ng sign. So, negative 5. So, ito ay 5. Okay. Then, synthetic division tayo. Bring down yung first number, 1. And then, multiply. 1 times 5, 5. Then, add. Addition, ha? So, may 7 akong utang. Tapos, meron akong 5 piso. So, may natira akong dalawang utang. Okay. So, meron ulit tayo dito. Multiply. Negative 2 times 5, negative 10, and then add. O may 10 piso ako, pero may 10 piso ang utang. So, wala akong matitirang pera. Wala rin matitirang utang. Okay, so na ito na. So, again, tingnan natin. So, second power siya. So, babawasan natin ng isa. So, ibig sabihin nito ay x. So, first power, imaginary. Then, minus 2. So, parehas lang. Ano? So, synthetic at long method. So, na yun, napakadali pala naman yan, sir. Mag-aaral na ako ng mabuti. <laughs> okay, number two. So, number two, um, given. So, x squared plus x minus 20 divided by x minus 4. Ah, medyo malabo ang ating kon, gawa ng ilaw. Okay. Lalo atang lumabo ah. Focus natin. Tiyo. Mm-hmm. Lalong lumabo. Okay. So, pwede na yan. Mm -hmm. Tatagalan tayo sa camera. Malabo ba talaga? Ay, talagang nalabo. Oh, teka, teka, teka. Pwede itong pesto. Ok. 
Okay, 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 okay. Nasa sayang ang ating oras. Yun. Pwede naman palang malinaw. Okay. So, yun yung given. Analyze natin. Naka-arrange na ba siya? Descending order. 2. Imaginary 1. 0. Okay. So, isulat na uli natin. X squared plus X minus 20. Divide it by x minus 4 okay x squared divided by x is x walang iba kundi x x times x x squared and then x times negative 4 is negative 4 x subtract so wala na ito x squared minus x squared 0 x minus negative 4 x so negative times negative magiging positive 4 So, may 1 ako sa taas. So, yun ang magiging 5x. Then, bring down negative 20. So, 5x divided by x is 5. So, plus 5. Positive ba na? 5 times x. So, 5x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Then, subtract. So, 5x minus 5x, 0. Negative 20. Minus negative 20. Negative times negative. Positive. Tapos ito yung negative. So, 0. 0 ang ating remainder. So, na ito ang ating quotient. Aba. Okay. Lagay na uli natin. So, ito ay 1. 1. Negative 20. Again. 1. 1. Negative 20. Okay. Yung test 0. So, positive 4. So, ang test 0 natin ay magiging positive kasi negative ito. Okay? Synthetic na tayo. So, bring down 1. So, 1 times 4, 4. Then, add 1 plus 4, 5. Sir, pang elementary man pala yan. Di ba? 1 plus 4, 5. 5 times 4, 20. 20. Add. So, negative 20 plus 20, 0. O, meron na tayo. O, tingnan natin. Ano ito? 1. So, second power. So, bawasan lang natin ang isa. So, ito ay x. nasa yung 1 yan? Na, ito, imaginary. No? X plus. So, positive. Kaya yan ay plus 5. Okay. So, parehas lang sa long method and then sa synthetic. Parehas ng sagot. Ano? Okay? Madali lang. Number 3. So, medyo nausad na tayo. Number 3 given, we have x cube plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 so tingnan natin naka-arrange na ba descending order 3 2 1 and then yung 0 ok so ulat na natin x cube plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 Gagandang sumulat ni sir. Okay. X cubed divided by X is X squared. X squared times X is X cubed. X squared times 1 is X squared. No? Uh, then, subtract. So, wala na. So, may tatlo akong X squared. Bawasan ko ng isang X squared. May natira akong dalawang X squared. Then, bring down 5x. 2x squared divided by x. So, kukuha ko lang ng isa yun. Maraming matitira akong 2x. Okay? So, 2x times x. Balik ako sa 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. And then, subtract. So, wala na ito. 5x minus 2x. So, subtraction talaga, no? So, 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, so na yun yung x. Then, bring down 3. So, divide ulit. 3x divided by x. So, matitira sa akin ay 3. So, plus 3. And then, 3 times x, 3x. And then, 3 times 1, 3. Oh, subtract. 0 pa rin. Ano? So, sakto ang ating quotient. So, sakto ang ating sagot. So, The quotient is x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay, synthetic tayo. 
Static division. So, we have 1, 3, 5, 3. So, positive lahat. 1, 3, 5, 3. 1, 3, 5, 3. Anong gandang susulat ng 3 na sir. And then, yung test 0 natin. So, positive 1 ito. Change lang na sign. Negative 1. Okay. Synthetic. Bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Plus. 3 plus negative 1 is positive 2. Multiply. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Plus. 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3. And multiply. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So, add. Plus. 3 plus negative 3, 0. Okay, okay. Wala na pala yun sa video. Okay, so na ito na. So, tingin ulit tayo sa ating given. So, ito ay cube. Bawasan ko lang ng isa. So, na ito na yun. So, kung yun ay cube, ang sagot natin ay x squared. So, na ito na yun. 1. So, 2 plus 2. Bawasan ko lang ng isa. x. So, plus 3. So, wala na siyang x kasi 2, 1, 0. Ilalagay ko pa yun. So, hindi na. So, ito ang ating quotient. Parehas, synthetic, at long method. Okay. May dalawa pa. Number 4 and number 5. Okay. So, na ito ang ating number 4. So, given number 4, we have 2x cubed minus 18x minus 45 plus 5x squared divided by x plus 5. So, makikita na kaagad natin na hindi siya naka-arrange. 3, 2, na ito yung 1, na ito yung 0. So, arrange natin. Bago tayo mag-divide. So, we have 2x cubed. Nasaan yung second? So, plus 5x squared. So, na ito yung linear term. 18x, constant term, minus 45. Okay? Then, divide natin x plus 5 x plus 5 okay. 2x cubed divided by x so may matitala tayong 2x squared so 2x squared times x 2x cubed 2x squared times 5 positive 10x squared mabilis ba? ok then subtract so ito ay wala na so, bawasin natin ito. 5x squared minus 10x squared. So, mas malaki itong uh, pambawas. So, negative 5x squared. Then, bring down 18x. Negative 18x. So, negative 5x squared divided by x. So, kukuhain ko lang yung isa doon. So, minus 5x. Multiply. Negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. Multiply ulit. Negative 5x times 5 is negative 25x. 5 times 5 eh. Diba? So, 25. Then, subtract. So, ito ay wala na. Cancel na lang yan. So, dito tayo. Negative 18x minus negative 25x. So, negative times negative. So, ito ay magiging positive. So, ibig sabihin ito ay positive. Ilan to? So, 18 at saka 25. Hindi ba? Ito... Mm -hmm. Tama ba? Okay, tama. So, 7. Ano? So, 7x positive. So, negative times negative. So, 7. Okay, tama na. And then, bring down for negative 45. Okay? So, 7x divided by x is positive 7. And then, 7 times x, 7x. 7 times 5, Positive 35. Then, subtract. Mayroon tayong denominator. So, ito ay wala na. Cancel. Negative 45 minus positive uh, 35 ito. O, ito ay magiging negative. So, ipa-plus lang natin. So, that will be negative 80. Ano? So, 10. Kaya 1. So, 80. So, mayroon tayong remainder na 80. Ano ang ginagawa natin dito? Idadagdag natin siya plus negative 80 over yung kanyang uh, divisor. 
x plus 5. So, 80 yan ha. So, yun lang. Sagot natin. Synthetic tayo. So, ang kukuhain natin ay yung naka-arrange siya, no? So, ito. So, we have 2, 5, negative 18, negative 45. So, we have this as 2, 5, negative 18, negative 45. Okay. Yung test 0 natin, positive 5, change ng sign. So, magiging negative 5. Okay. Synthetic ito. Bring down. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Add. Add natin. 5 plus negative 10 is negative 5. Okay. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. And then add. Negative 18 plus 25 is 7. Positive 7 kasi mas malaki. Okay. Next. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. And then add. Meron akong utang. Dagdagan ko ng utang. Lumaki si utang. Okay. Remainder natin. Negative 80. So, parehas ba? 2. Negative 5. 7. Then remainder 80. Kopyahin na lang uli natin yun. 2x squared minus 5x plus 7 plus negative 80 over x plus 5. Okay? So, ito ay remainder eh. Ito ang ating quotient. Parehas na parehas. Ano? Okay. Next, last number 5. Okay. Makakaraos din ata. x cubed squared plus 7x cubed. Ah, uh, 3x squared plus 7x cubed plus 11x minus 4. Divided by x plus 2. So, hindi naman na siya naka-arrange. Kasi nauna yung second power sa third power. Arrange natin. Bago mag-divide. 7x cubed plus 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. Divided by x plus 2. Okay. Divide na natin yan. So, 7x cubed divided by x. 7x squared. So, 7x squared times x is 7x cubed. 7x squared times 2, positive 14x squared. Okay. Subtract. Oh, cancel na ito. Wala na. So, 3x squared minus 14x squared. So, magiging negative ito. So, negative uh, 11x squared. Ano? And then bring down positive 11x. Then 11x squared divided by x is negative 11. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Nauna yung pagsulat. Negative 11x. Ano? So kasi x squared to. Then balik. 11x squared. Uh, 11x. Negative 11x times x is negative 11 x squared. Negative 11x times 2 is negative 22. Tama ba? X. Ano wala na no, X. May X nga pala. Then subtract. So again, cancel ito. So negative times negative. So magiging positive na ito. So i-add lang natin 33x. Then bring down negative 4. Okay. 33x divided by x is positive 33. 33 times x is 33x. Then, 33 times 2 is positive 66. Then, subtract. So, wala na ito. So, negative 4 minus, pos uh, minus positive, positive 66. So, ito yung magiging negative. So, negative ilan? 70. So, ito yung remainder natin. So, idagdag na natin sa tatas. Plus, negative 70 again over the denominator x plus 2. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan ano. Ang remainder ay laging pag idadagdag dun sa final quotient ay idadagdag lagi ang denominator. Ano? Dito. Okay. Synthetic tayo. 
So we have 7, 3, 11, negative 4. 7, 3, 11, negative 4. Then test 0. Positive 2. Change ng sign. Negative 2. Okay. Bring down 7. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Add. So 3. So may utang akong 14. So may matira ang utang na 11. So 11. Negative 11 times negative 2 is positive 22. Diba? Negative times negative positive. Then add. So 11 plus 22 is 33. Then multiply. 33 times negative 2 is negative 66. Then the add. May utang. Dagdagan pa ng utang. Lumaki si utang. 70 yung utang. Ano? So ito na naman yung ating remainder. So parehas ba? Okay. So parehas na parehas. So 7x squared minus 11x plus 33 plus negative 70 over x plus 2. So yan ang ating uh, division, ano? Division of polynomials, the long method, and the synthetic division. Okay, so yung susunod na video, yung sa B, ay isunod na natin, ano? Para kayo makatapos na yung gawain. Bye-bye! Okay,